Part two, part two. Um, somebody interrupted the Reaper, and we'll go to part two. Um, what you got on those hot trending topics, sweet and sassy? You talking about Lorenz and Wright? Yeah, it was um, about his ex-wife being charged for his murder, she pled guilty to uh, charges Thursday in Memphis of uh, facilitation to commit first-degree murder and facilitation to commit attempted uh, first-degree murder. She previously pled not guilty at the time she was facing a life sentence as convicted. Lorenzen was believed to be killed on July 19, 2010, when his gunshots were heard during his called a 911. His body was found in a wooded area on July 28th. His death was a mystery for years, but in December of 2017, Cheryl Wright and Billy Ray Turner were arrested in connection with his death. In exchange for her plea, she received a 30-year sentence. She is eligible for parole in nine years. They say she recruited Billy to kill Lorenzen because he had beaten her for years, and the claim was that the shape of her face and even how she spoke or moved her mouth was different due to years of domestic violence. Well, make sure when you get someone to share something with, Lorenzen Wright was an NBA player. He played for a lot of years in the NBA, and he had a significant amount of money. So make sure that you do your homework. You don't get with a gold digger or somebody that just want to use you and abuse you, you know, for what you have, you know, the Reaper keep it 1,000, you know. And so this was a gold digger, you know, because she came up after she murdered him and said that he was beating her and doing all of this kind of stuff when she really murdered him and got two people to uh no good as men to murder him because she wanted his money for the life insurance policy and she wanted control of everything so make sure that when you get with someone right that they be the proper type of person because you know the person that will take care of you and love you and everything else because Lorenz and Wright got with the wrong woman and a lot of these women marry these pro athletes because they got money or you know um they got things or whatever they don't love them a la you know uh Aisha Curry you know I mean and they really want to spit out a couple kids you know like Kevin Garnett's wife and Kenny Smith's wife, you know, and then they want to take them for everything and be who be with who they really want to be with. Marcia Pippen, Scotty Pippen's wife, the Reaper Keep It 1000. You know, I saw Marcia Pippen on a show, you know, I think it was Hollywood Unlocked and, you know, that that fat dude that interviewed her, you know, I mean, you know, he likes to be friends with celebrities because he thinks that gives him fame. And when he, you know, when he interviewed and I heard a lot of people saying when he interviewing non-celebrities or, you know, black people, he try to really go in. But Marcia Pippen, he wanted to be friends with her because, you know, uh, you know, he's gay and everything and he likes to be friends with women. So he takes it easy on them. And Marcia Pippen then was talking about Kim Kardashian. He was talking about Kim Kardashian came out with the box braids or whatever and we know that black women been wearing box braids forever and that black woman that's on there I'm glad she corrected him and her or whatever to tell her to tell her that but you know she was trying to say she wasn't with Scottie Pippen for money and you know, they had it going on or whatever, but she want to take him for everything he got or whatever. She wasn't with him for money. She didn't need no money. She's from a prominent family. She's not from a prominent family. She was a groupie. She, he met her at a Bulls basketball game, the Real Game 1000, because she was down there trying to meet players just like a groupie, and I never heard Marcia Pippen's family having no money or whatever, unless she wouldn't want Scotty and some of his. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. So, you know, this is a farce, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, I always say that do your investigation or your homework because you can get with a gold digging broad or, you know, somebody that don't appreciate you. And they will take you for everything you got. And this is what Lorenzen Wright ran into. He ran into a woman that wanted to, you know, uh, 
control of him and and he had a big life insurance policy so she you know coerced some you know buster dudes to murder him the reaper keep it 1000 and she thought she had got away with murder and you know it came back to hunter and good for her i hope she get the death penalty what else you got speaking of scotty pippen that's who's next okay he's being sued by an ex-girlfriend she claims she had a relationship with him during his heyday with the Chicago Bulls, claiming she was uh, she incurred thousands of dollars in expenses during their uh, tr uh, trice. A, a woman named Chevette Valentine says she dated Pippen from 1987 to 1993. As a part of the relationship, she would travel to see him when he played outside Chicago. She racked up expenses for hotels, car, gas, food, parking, and claims she promised to reimburse her. She's suing him for $9,999, but claims she's actually owed more. She claims she was his first girlfriend in Chicago and didn't know he had a wife or a newborn baby and claims that during uh, Valentine's sex in 1988, he admitted to her that he had a family. How convenient. <laughs> How convenient. When Scotty going through a divorce, her ex-girlfriend comes out and says she was having an affair with him in the 80s. <laughs> Marcia had hired somebody to Reaper Keep It 1000. That's what it sounds like to me. And, you know, uh, because how convenient, how is this even relevant, you know, right now? Her having an affair with him and nobody knows whether it's true or not, but her having an affair with him, uh, uh, alleged affair in the 80s while he's going through a divorce. Now she's trying to get a lawsuit from the 80s. The Reaper keep it 1000 and she's not claiming that he did anything improper to her. She's just claiming that they had an affair and, you know, and she didn't know he was married. So now she wants to sue him or whatever because he like deceived her or whatever that's not him deceiving you that's you deceiving yourself because you didn't do your homework the real kid because everybody knew scotty pippen was married and if you was following him and knew he played for the chicago bulls you knew he was married the reaper keep it 1000 so you know for you uh screwing a married man you want him to pay you now sounds like marcia pippen you know is putting somebody up to something so she can get more money and you know custody of the kids and whatever you know the reaper keep it 1000 because this is not even news an affair that happened in the 80s allegedly you know uh <laughs> somebody's trying to sue him for. What kind of craziness is we going through now? See, they tried to go back even 30 years to get somebody for something now just for sleeping with somebody, and I didn't know he was married. So because you didn't do your homework, that's Scotty Pippen's fault. <laughs> and I believe you did because <laughs> you was a groupie and he played for the Chicago Bulls making a lot of money. So I believe you did if you if if he was married. But, you know, how is this even relevant? I You know, I don't know. This is stupid to me. What else you got? Okay, we'll go to um, ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky. He's been charged with assault causing actual bodily harm. If convicted, he could spend two years behind bars. He will continue to be held in the Sweden jail until trial. The trial will be held within the next two weeks. Two members of his crew have also been charged with the same thing. Um, they say the only good news he has is that he and his crew will not be charged with aggravated assault, a more serious crime which carries a six-year sentence. And he's um, going to be spending more time in jail until that trial happens. Well, that nigga ain't getting out of jail ASAP. The Reaper keep it 1,000. <laughs> he's not getting, he's not going nowhere ASAP because he, he's been in jail a long time. I tell him what he better do, he better get an attorney ASAP. The Reaper keep it 1,000 because if he don't, <laughs> he will stay in jail and, you know, uh, nothing will happen ASAP for him. So, uh, you know, I don't know about this case. I heard about it or whatever. I heard that he assaulted somebody over there. Something happened and they are, they are keeping him ASAP 
in jail, you know. So uh, <laughs> don't go overseas, you know, and assault nobody. You know, if you're in a foreign country or even if you're out of town, you know, it's best just to walk away or whatever, you know, unless somebody's trying to do something to you because you can be charged in another state or another country and especially in another country because you may assault somebody and they keep you over there for 10 or 15 or 20 years of life because, you know, their rules are different. And this is what ASAP Rocky is finding out, you know, that the rules is different in other countries, which he should know that because he's an entertainer and he should know that the rules is different, you know, in other countries or whatever. So he will not be getting out of jail ASAP. What else you got? <laughs> okay, we'll go to Terry Crews. Terry Crews. He claims he had a porn addiction that nearly destroyed his marriage. He blamed his wife for being obsessed over porn. His wife walked out on him, and he knew he had to change. He actually went to a rehab for porn addiction. He thought he had a secret that led him to cheat in the past. His wife confronted him and said, what is it that you think I don't know about you? But I guess after his porn rehab, they got back together and supposed to be together strong. Oh, uh, you know what? She wasn't giving him enough sex. The Reaper keep it 1,000. I mean, something had to go on there. And I know Terry Crews' wife, she's a black woman. So, you know, uh, <laughs> she will play, you know, the twat game. The Reaper keep it 1,000. So, you know, with Terry Crews, you know, don't do what she wanted him to do. You know, she would say, well, you're not getting anything. And if he was had to be up early or was out, you know, and, you know, uh, he had to do something, you know, uh, she would say, you're not getting anything. And, uh, you know, he reverted to porn, you know, just like a lot of men do. You know, I heard, like I said, there was a woman that said, a woman said that, you know, when her nigga would come in late or he didn't do what she wanted him to do, you know, uh, she would, you know, put on a lot of clothes to go to bed because, you know, uh, she was punishing him, you know, and the nigga would come in there and he pulled out a big thing of scissors because she'd have oh, three things of sweats and cut them off of her. The Reaper keep it 1,000. So a lot of men is, you know, uh, sex starved and a lot of women know that men, you know, want well, sex or whatever and they will revert to other things. The Reaper keep it 1,000. So, you know, she should be checking herself you know, and finding out if she's doing everything. Lucky Big Terry didn't go out and have an affair, you know, uh, or whatever. What was what kind of porn was he watching? Uh, the agent uh, jerking on his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Because he claimed, you know, he's six foot, you know, three, 250 pounds of muscle. And he claimed the little agent, you know, uh, molested him. And he was upset. You know, um, big as he is, like D.L. Hewley say, that's why they give you big muscles so you can say no. The Reaper keep it 1,000, which I thought that that was a farce, you know, with Terry Crews. Now he's blaming his wife, you know, uh, for his porn addiction. Terry Crews don't take responsibility for nothing, do he? The Reaper keep it 1,000. <laughs> Because how can you blame your wife for your porn addiction? Your wife will don't give you none, you know, after, you know, so long. That's a groundbreaking deal. A man probably is going to go get some from somebody else. The Reaper keep it 1,000. And he's rich and famous. You know, he's probably got easy access to women. You know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. So why would you let a woman, you know, play games with you like this? And if she wasn't playing games with you like this, Terry, then, you know, you have a serious issue. The Reaper keep it 1,000 if she was satisfying you and you had access to sex on all the time, you know, which I don't believe you did because you was in a marriage for a long time and, you know, people don't screw the way they used to. But, you know, maybe, you know, she was, you know, putting out or whatever and he, you know, wanted something different through the computer or whatever. I don't know, but I know that this nigga is deranged <laughs> because he's always blaming somebody else for his problems. What else you got? Okay, we'll go to Drake. Drake. He's being sued again by a fan for mm. 
sustaining a serious brain injury at his New York concert, and she's blaming Drake for having a history. She says the crowd was rowdy, and she was violently struck by a beer bottle that was thrown while attending his concert. She was maliciously... Wait a minute. Maliciously and without this cause of provocation, subjected to a battery, she says Drake's venue and employees were negligent and failed to properly make sure people weren't overserved liquor. She blames Drake for failing to prevent aggressive behavior at his concerts and pre- providing weapons by having drinks and bottles instead of plastic cups. She gonna go zero to a hundred on this nigga real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be some real shit because she's going to go get an attorney and she's going to try to get money, you know, from Mr. Drake, you know, the Reaper Keep It 1000. You know, some people is always coming up, you know, uh, with shifty lawsuits and they'll go get some sleaze bag attorney that will contact, you know, you over anything, especially if you got a piece of money or some assets that they can get their hand on the Reaper Keep It 1000. So Drake is going to have to settle this one out of court because you know this particular fan has went and got some sleazeball attorney to take her case and you know all he wants to do he'll take it pro bono she don't even have to put down no money with him he'll listen to her case because it's Drake and he feel like he can get his attorney fees paid and he can get her some money you know the reaper keep it 1000 and what does he have to lose he's going after a celebrity you know and so you know he'll say well I need time spent time spent on these attorney fees or whatever but if he don't win the lawsuit and he don't win nothing he's not out of nothing too much you know so it's just a win-win situation for you know the sleaze bag attorney and this is why they take these people's cases you know pro bono against these celebrities or whatever because it's a win-win situation for them if they win they get money and everything. If they don't win, they just uh, wasted a little time with some paperwork or whatever. The Reaper Keep It 1000. So, you know, this is one fan that's going after Drake because they know it's Drake and he got some money and some sleaze bag attorney will take the case. What else you got? Okay, we'll go to um, another ex-NBA player named Kenyon Martin. Kenyon Martin. That's the nigga with the smile on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga put uh, uh, big lips and a smile on his neck. You know, the Reaper Keep It 1000. Kenyon Martin. What's up with Kenyon Martin? He's arguing that he should not have to pay the same amount of child support as he did when he played in the NBA and wants the amount to be more in line with his current financial situation. He has three children with his ex. They reached an agreement back in 2007 to pay $3,000 a month in child support. He wants it to be revised to his current income. His income for 2019 is $209,000. Um, he says he will earn $100,000 for his coach job in the Big Three Basketball League. Um, he pays $3,181 per month for another child he has. And he has two kids with his current wife and feels like um, they should be lowering his child support payments. Well, good luck on that, Kenyon. You know, uh, you will not get that lowered. The Reaper keep it one thousand because you still making over two 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 hundred thousand dollars a year, and you know. Um, you know, no telling what you got in the bank or, you know, what you got tied up in other business ventures or whatever. The Reaper keep it 1000 So $3,000 a month, you know, I don't know if he's paying that individually for each kid, but he sound like he paying 3000 for one and then 3000 for two because the judgment was long time ago, which that's not a lot of money. If you're making, you know, I guess if you're making uh, over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year or whatever he's making, you know, he's over two hundred thousand. And, you know, it seems like, you know, he's only got to pay out, you know, um, eighty four thousand or whatever. The Reaper keep it one thousand, you know. So I don't know, you know, or ninety two thousand or whatever. I don't know what Kenyon Martin is thinking of. Maybe he got to pay out seventy two thousand, maybe a six thousand dollars a month. 
you know. So maybe he has to pay out $72,000 a year and he's making like over 210000 you know. I mean, that's why you should put something on your dick, Kenyon. <laughs> The Reaper keep it 1000 You wouldn't have to pay out that extra $36,000 a year if you would have put something on your dick. Because <laughs> you got another kid out there that ain't by your wife and you pay it $3,000 a month, you know, for it. And, you know, you pay it $3,000 a month for two kids. And I don't think you got to get out of that. I don't think no judge is going to have no sympathy when you're paying a total of probably like 72,000, 75,000 a year and you still rich as a motherfucker and you still 